well-doer indeed, word, and thought, he having been a well-doer indeed, word, and thought, is reborn at the disintegration of the body after death to a happy destiny in the bright worlds. Thus does a person who is in the light proceed towards light. How does a person stoop down and remain unprogressive? How does a person stoop down but remain progressive? How does a person who is prosperous remain unprogressive? How does a person who is prosperous remain progressive? Dot. These four types correspond respectively to the above four. Who are the four persons comparable to trees? Dot. The four kinds of trees are as follows one itself weak, but surrounded by strong ones. One itself strong, but surrounded by weak ones. One itself weak and surrounded by weak ones. One itself strong and surrounded by strong ones. The four types of person likened respectively unto these four classes of trees exist in this world a person himself weak, but surrounded by the strong. A person himself strong, but surrounded by the weak. A person himself weak and surrounded by the weak. A person himself strong and surrounded by the strong. How is a person who himself is weak surrounded by the strong? Here a certain person is of bad morals, wicked, while his associates are moral men of lovely nature. Thus is a person who himself is weak surrounded by the strong, just in the same way as a weak tree is surrounded by strong ones. How is a person who is strong surrounded by the weak? Dot. Here a certain person who is moral, of lovely nature, having associates who are immoral, wicked. Thus is a person who is strong surrounded by the weak, just in the same way as a strong tree is surrounded by weak ones. How is a person who is immoral, wicked? having associates who are the same. Dot. How is a person who is strong surrounded by the strong? Dot. Here a certain person who himself is moral and of lovely nature, has similar associates. Thus is a person who is strong surrounded by the strong, just in the same way as a strong tree is surrounded by strong ones. These are the four persons comparable to trees existing in this world. What sort of person is one estimating by and satisfied with the outward form? Dot. Here a person having observed the height, the compass, the shape, and the finish of a material object, finds satisfaction in it. Such a person is one estimating, etc. What sort of person is one estimating by and satisfied with others' words? Dot. Here a person engenders faith on the basis of the praise, the adulation, the admiration, the encomiums of others, treating him as a standard of judgment. Such a person is one estimating by and esteeming others' words. What sort of person is one estimating by and esteeming outward austerity? Dot. Here a person having noticed the austere nature of the garments, or of begging bowls, or of beds and sheets, or having observed manifold austerities, finds satisfaction in him, taking these austerities as a standard of judgment. Such a person is one estimating by and esteeming outward austerity. What sort of person is one estimating by and esteeming that which is right? Dot. Here a person having noticed the practice of morality, or of meditation, or of insight, finds satisfaction therein, taking these practices as a standard of judgment. Such a person is one estimating by and esteeming that which is right. How does a person strive after his own welfare but not after that of others? Dot. Here a person attains to the moral life, but does not encourage others to attain it. Himself attains to the practice of ecstatic meditation, but does not encourage others to attain it. Himself attains to insight, but does not encourage others to attain it. Himself attains to emancipation, but does not encourage others to attain. 
himself attains to the perception of a consciousness of emancipation, but does not encourage others to attain that perception. Such a person is one who strives after his own welfare, but not after that of others. How does a person strive after others' welfare, but not after his own? Dot. Here a person does not himself attain to the moral life, but encourages others to attain it. Does not himself attain to the practice of ecstatic meditation, but encourages others to attain the same. Does not himself attain to insight, but encourages others to attain insight. Does not himself attain to the practice of emancipation, but encourages others to attain that state. Does not himself attain to the perception of a consciousness of emancipation, but encourages others to attain that perception. Thus does a person strive after others' welfare but not after his own. How does a person strive neither after his own welfare nor after that of others? Dot. Here a person neither himself attains to the moral life nor encourages others to attain to the moral life. Neither himself attains to the practice of ecstatic meditation nor encourages others to attain the same. Neither himself attains to insight nor encourages others to attain insight. Neither himself attains to emancipation nor encourages others to attain that state. Neither himself attains to the perception of a consciousness of emancipation nor encourages others to attain that perception. Such a person is one who strives neither after his own welfare nor after that of others. How does a person strive after his own welfare as well as after that of others? Dot. Here a person himself attains to the moral life, and also encourages others to attain the moral life, himself attains to the practice of ecstatic meditation, and also encourages others to attain the same, himself attains to insight and also encourages others to attain insight himself attains to emancipation and also encourages others to attain that state. Himself attains to the perception of a consciousness of emancipation and also encourages others to attain that perception. Such a person is one who strives after his own welfare as well as after that of others. How does a person strive neither after his own welfare nor after that of others? Dot. Here a certain person neither himself attains to the moral life, nor encourages others to attain the moral life. Neither himself attains to the practice of ecstatic meditation, nor encourages others to attain the same. Neither himself attains to the practice of insight, nor encourages others to attain insight. Neither himself attains to the practice of emancipation nor encourages others to attain the state of emancipation. Neither himself attains to perception of a consciousness of emancipation nor encourages others to attain that perception. Such a person is one who strives neither after his own welfare nor after that of others. How does a person become self-mortifying and addicted to practices tending to self-mortification? Here a person goes naked, is of loose habits, licks his hand clean, does not stop nearer or wait a moment if politely requested to do so, refuses to accept food brought to him, refuses to accept food especially prepared for him, does not accept any invitation, does not accept food from a cooking pot or a pan. Does not accept food placed within the threshold. Does not accept food placed among the pestles. Does not accept food when two persons are eating together. Does not accept from a woman with child, from a woman giving. 